Hey guys, my name is Thomas Pham, and I wanted to post another response video to the math battle system that we were working on earlier. Jedi Master Lenny, you wanted to know, if, is there a more efficient way to do this? There probably is, honestly. I um, didn't get much sleep last night, so <laughs> uh, let's, let's go into it a little bit further. Let's see if we can make this more efficient for you. Just a heads up, I didn't plan this one either, so I might be stuttering. I might mess up a bit, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll both do it together. So, open a project, or open the same project that we were working on, and rather than doing this within the troops page, um, I'm going to do it in a regular event. You should probably do it in, in your troops this way. You can actually play test it in battle. But I want to do it in a regular event so you could really see what I'm doing, because I have so much more room here. So, we need a few variables. Um, you're going to need variables for the first value, second value, the added values, and even uh, variables for the wrong value. And there might be a few counters that we need to, none, none that I'm thinking about a little bit further, but let's go ahead and instantiate those variables, or call them, um, well, define them. Um, remember our first counter? I'm going to put a line break here just so we can see it better. Under the next values, let's call it value 1. Value 2 again, first value, second value, and then right value, I guess. Let's also use wrong value 1. Wrong value 2. And I'm going to use random counter. And Define this too. We're probably going to use this later, at least with the method that I'm thinking of. So, first thing that I want to do is create random values for 1 and 2. So, select value 1, go to random, and let's pick a value between 0 and 20. So, value 1 is now going to be a random value between that, and we're going to copy and paste select the event in question, press space, set it to value 2, and there we go. So again, two random values. Now we need to, we need to assign the, the correct answer, so let's do another copy-paste, space, click on right value, and we want to add value 1, We're doing another copy-paste, write value, add value 2. So we needed two variables for this. Essentially, we're just adding value 1 and value 2 to write value. So again, remember, uh, RPG Maker runs this code sequentially. So this means that first, a random value will generate for 1, then 2. Then it'll add value 1 to the write value, then value 2 to the write value as well, essentially just adding them together and getting us the answer. So, the next thing that I want to do is um, also define the wrong values too. So, let's take these two, and we want to pick two numbers that are going to be in the range of, of our answer. Um, for the sake of easiness, I'm going to use 0 through 40. And don't forget to assign them to the wrong value. So now, value, wrong value 1, wrong value 2, assigned from 0 to 40. And again, this, this is going to be part of our choices, um, our wrong answers. Now, the next thing I want to do is make sure that wrong value doesn't get repeated twice. Um, so it, it's pretty obvious when you have two answers that are the exact same, it's probably going to be the not those. Um, so let's make a quick loop to make sure that that doesn't happen. Under the loop, we're going to make a condition branch. If wrong value is equal to wrong value 2, so again, if these two values are the exact same, I want to redefine wrong value 1. So I'm just, I just copied and pasted uh, down below. Let's go back into the condition branch and add an else case. So if wrong value 1 is equal to wrong value 2, reroll it. 
if not do this and that is going to be break the loop so again um, this will happen first and then now it's going to check the values and reassign them if not and then it'll break the loop if they are not equal so next thing let's use that counter that I was no you know no let's make a show text let's show on the screen um, the math equation that we're doing now to do this open a text box and the code to show text in uh, show a variable in RPG maker is backslash v open bracket then the number of the uh, variable that we have assigned so in this case it's three and four so three close plus backslash v four and let's preview and they show up as values that's good is equal to x so this is going to show up now of course um, because this is it hasn't been randomized yet um, it's just going to show up the default value as zero now um, we need to do our choices um, for the sake of easiness I'm only going to do three um, so I want to then use that random counter that we were using earlier so let's copy and paste another variable at the top select RNG counter and because the zero is an index as well we really only need um, a random uh, random to generate from zero to two because again um, the the indexes are going to be zero one and two which are which is basically three choices if you don't get what I mean just just go with it um, but let's say if you want to do six choices um, then you probably want to do uh, a random between zero and five and you'll see why in a second and you know what I'm gonna move this down here just so it's easier to see so the next thing that we have to do is give the player choices um, the problem with not doing a random counter like this and randomizing your choices is that if they're able to figure out that the first choice is always correct because um, when we're doing choices the index doesn't change and there isn't a way to do it in an RPG maker without using plugins um, then it's it's always pretty much select the first one and you're right um, so what we need to do instead is use condition branches just like the other video that we were using too that we, we did too so RNG counter is going to roll zero to, um, 0 to 2 we're going to make a condition branch if count no not counter if RNG counter is equal to 0 1 and 2 do these you should already be familiar with this and then now we're going to make our choices um, so under 0 first choice we're then going to call our variable numbers again so variable and I don't remember the variable numbers one second so wrong value 7 8 and right value is 5 uh, I gotta write that down somewhere I have a notepad on the other screen um, just write this down so under RNG counter 0 we're going to show choice and again I'm only going to do three choices because it's easier for me as there's um so I don't have to show you too much and um, we have to make the correct answer in every index um, and so it's always changing uh, on the on the user so we're going to make the first index the correct answer by showing variable number number five then variable number seven and then variable number eight so again correct answer wrong answer wrong answer and because these are all randomized um, at least the seven and the eight are and they're always going to be different and because the the value one and two is also randomized the correct answer will be different as well 
So um, let's go ahead and then just show a text. Um, in, in your case, you want to end the battle if, if you're correct. So um, I'm just going to use a message box just so you can see that it works. Okay. So then select our choices and then copy and paste under RNG counter 1 and RNG counter 2. Going back to choices in RNG counter 1, press space and then now change this up a bit. So change the value of the first index to 7. So now the second one, uh, or sorry, the first one is the incorrect value and the second one becomes the correct value. And as you can imagine for the third one, let's make the correct answer the last value. And that should randomize your choices. So what's happening, at least so far, all of your values get randomized. Your wrong values get, um, get checked to make sure that they're not duplicates. And if it does, of course, it breaks the loop, or it changes the value. If it is a duplicate, then it breaks the loop. If not, then <coughs> an RNG counter gets randomized for three indexes, so 0 to 2. A text box gets showed. Um, shown two values, two random values that we chose up here. And then the RNG counter gets rolled. So if this rolls a zero to um, zero to two index, depending on what you roll, you'll either get um, the first choice, which is essentially the correct answer, the second choice, which is the going to be the correct answer there. I'm going to then forgot to change the boxes or the responses. And the third third one was, uh, which is essentially going to be, well, you know, well, you know. So do you kind of see how that works? Um, first index means that you're correct. Second index means second box is, or second choice is correct. And third index is third option correct. So that's always randomized. And yes, you, this is something that you do have to do. And that should be it. Um, at least I, I, I hope this is going to work because uh, that'd be kind of embarrassing. But um, let's play test. Okay, so now it's asking 8 plus 14. Why did it disappear like that? Okay, let's. You know what we could do instead? The reason why they're separate because this if statement is uh, is separate from the choice statement. So uh, the if statement, the message box. So let's remove the text box. Um, I'm gonna actually cut it. So I'm gonna highlight, click Control X, and then paste it right before every single choice. And I think I just heard the intro music play, so I'm going to turn that off too, or at least turn it down. And let's play test again. There you go. So 5 plus 17, uh, 22. Okay, so it works. 1 plus 20, 1 plus 21, wait a minute. See, okay, another issue. Um, we did not clear the value um, after we got it correct. So uh, this is also going to be important because you're going to be doing um, you're going to be doing more and more battles every single time, and the correct value will keep changing. So right value needs to equal zero when the battle ends. So let's set the value to zero. and then paste that under the end battle statements that we have. Play test again. 1 plus 10, 11. Why is that still not working? You know what? I'm silly. I'm sorry. You need to always change the um, change the 
change the RNG. Why did I put RNG counter? I'm sorry. Right value. We're going to set right value to zero. And we're going to then, I want you to copy and paste this to every answer because again, it, if you get it wrong, assuming it's going to reset, the variable needs to reset with every question. So again, get right value, paste it everybody el uh, everywhere else. And let's test one more time. Uh, crap. Uh, 34. Okay. Then 20. 16. And see, as you can see, the index is always changing. And obviously, I need to study math a little bit further, but whatever. And that's how you do it. Um, it looks like it's working perfect now. So you want to apply this to your troops conditions page, and it should always randomize for you. So you don't really have to do much um, after this. Uh, you don't have to do a hundred different equations as well. So I really hope this helps. I'm really sorry for how informal this is, how how many mistakes I've made. But as you can imagine with troubleshooting or with anything um, and wanting to get this video out sooner for you, um, yeah, this is bound to happen. So let me know if you have any other questions and I'll be happy to help you out.